Our criminal justice system works only when all Americans are treated equally under the law. That's why in 2010, Congress passed the landmark Fair Sentencing Act, marking the culmination of persistent efforts with the leadership of President Obama to reduce unjust disparities in sentencing for similar offenses involving different types of drugs. More recently, President Obama took another step by commuting the sentences of eight individuals who were sentenced under the outdated sentencing regime. And here at the Justice Department, we've announced additional reforms under our Smart on Crime initiative to ensure that individuals accused of certain low-level federal drug crimes no longer face excessive mandatory minimum sentences that are out of proportion with their alleged conduct and really serve no deterrent purpose. Now, these reforms have the potential to help make our criminal justice system not only fairer, but also by reducing the burden on our overcrowded prison system, more efficient. And now we have the opportunity for leaders from, from both parties to come together to do even more. Today, I'm urging Congress to pass common sense reforms like the Bipartisan Smarter Sentencing Act introduced by Senators Dick Durbin and Mike Lee, which would give judges more discretion in determining appropriate sentences for people convicted of certain federal drug crimes. This bill would also provide a, a new mechanism for some individuals who were sentenced under outdated laws and guidelines to petition judges for sentencing reductions that are consistent with the Fair Sentencing Act. Thanks to the leadership of Senators Durbin and Lee, and along with Chairman Patrick Leahy and Senator Rand Paul, it's clear that these and similar proposals enjoy bipartisan support on Capitol Hill. These reforms would advance the goals of the Smart on Crime initiative and other efforts that are currently underway by fundamentally improving policies that exacerbate rather than alleviate key criminal justice challenges. And such legislation could ultimately save our country billions of dollars in prison costs while keeping us safe at the same time. I look forward to working with members of, of both parties to refine and to advance these proposals in the days ahead. And I pledge my own best efforts and those of my colleagues throughout the Justice Department to continue to strengthen America's criminal justice system and to build a more just society that everyone in this country deserves.